September 21st uh, New Market Town Council meeting. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, and, and to the Republic, the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. all. We're starting a little early tonight for those uh, folks out there, if anyone's watching. Um, we're going to have a brief meeting and then a, a non-public just so people know why. Um, is there anybody from the public that would like to speak? I see not too many people. Seeing none, i uh, close public comment at 634. Um, do I have a motion please to accept the September 7 non-public uh, meeting minutes for 2016? So moved. Second? Do Second. I any questions, changes? Please call the roll. Council Burns. Aye. Council Bowden. Aye. Council Pike. Aye. Council Thompson. Aye. Council Weinstein. Aye. Council Nazaro. Aye. Council Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. And can I please have a motion for the September 7 16 regular meeting minutes? So moved. moved. Second. Any questions? Please call the roll. Council Burns. Aye. Council Bowden. Aye. Council Pike. Aye. Council Thompson. Aye. Council Weinstein. Aye. Council Nazaro. Aye. Council Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Um, in the spirit of brevity, um, there's not going to be a town administrator report tonight, but were there any questions that councillors may or may not have regarding anything from the uh, reports? I have one question. Council Weinstein? Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I just need to find it for a second. So, and I, I emailed Steve about this. So, the the Public Works Department, um, the charts that are on 35 and 36, mm -hmm. so those are year-to-date. Is that what it is? Because it was confusing to me, cause I guess because that's not usually what they were. And then on the second one, just then you couldn't, or the third the third chart, the first one on, pa on page 36. Like the numbers are, like you can't read the numbers. Yeah. And so I don't know. If maybe that could be more clear. Absolutely. And yes, they are year to date. Okay. Seeing no other questions, um, any committee reports? The planning board met, but um, it was, Burns. sorry. Um, planning board did meet, but it, everything was pushed to the next meeting. Okay, that's oh. concise. Yep. Any anything else? Under all business, uh, we have resolution 2016-17-3 related to the replacement of water and sewer utilities, uh, the relocation for the state right away for the NHDOT bike lane. Do I have a motion to accept? So it's on we'll page 58 for whatever it's worth. Thank you. Um, do you get the first and second? Yeah. Any questions or um, we're voting on this obviously tonight. Yeah. Um, do people have any questions about that? Councilor Thompson. I had emailed Steve in advance um, so that he could answer the question. Um, and my question was asking him if he would clarify, please, why we are paying anything at all since it's a New Hampshire DOT project. And he did answer me, but I thought for public edification yeah, it might uh, help. Yeah, the reason why we're, we're paying it's there are utilities. And they've asked us to replace our utilities at the point in time that w the road is open. So we don't have a situation where we need to replace them anyways. And we don't want to have a situation where they come in, they pave the road. And then in a year or two, we have to reopen it and just do more, more damage to the road. So they, they agreed to, to do both projects at the same time. Okay. Thank you. Can I? Councilor Pike. Yeah, I apologize. I, I had one question on the town councilor report, and I couldn't find it until you think moving along okay, at a pretty go good pace. But on the, the, under the shared two, two town school finance director, it, there's the last sentence says the next step of the town council for the town council is to establish an agreement that will outline the sharing arrangement and present it to the town council. I'm sorry, this should be town administrator to present it to the town council. 
Okay, so it, the, the next step is for the town administrator. Yeah. Okay, I, thank you. Good. Do you want to clarify that for the minutes? Yeah, the, the, it was mis There was a typo that stated that the town council would. Page we on? I don't. I eleven. Page eleven. Thank you. Page eleven. Yeah, that the town council, town administrator would. The town council will be presenting a report to the town council. It should be say the town administrator presents a report. It's, to the it's the first paragraph under the administrator's yeah. report. So I just wasn't sure what that meant. <coughs> um, are there, I'm just, while we're on it, $600,000 is in the, um, um, apparently the CIP fund. Capital Reserve. Um, is this is going to pretty much empty it, isn't it? So, John. and does this only get built to users? And could you just give a quick? The, the six hundred thousand was set aside for this project oh, solely. Yes. Okay. So that that that's not normally a, a reserve fund that you would have, or it, it's it was set aside as part of the capital improvement plan. Is it going to be need to need to be replenished? Well every year we that particular type of project I mean in other words that's a half a million bucks are we going to need to sort of replenish a half a million bucks this what year well what happens is we bring projects to the CIP um, uh, committee and they approve putting money aside for certain projects um, 600,000 was set aside for this project if there is another project similar to it I will bring it to the CIP and we'll put money aside it and then when the project comes ready to do, we, we um, move to do that project. Just to finish it, then, Councilman Zero. So there's obviously $70,000 more than was needed for this project based on 530000 Correct. Right. So there's 70000 left. Um, do you foresee asking the CIP committee um, to need another half a million dollars or what's coming up Sean do you I mean is there um, I'm going in front of the CIP committee in a uh, next week to some of some of the money that's going in that's being asked for is money to repair on pump stations um, a to improve the skater system for the pump stations um, dollar amount ballpark I'd have to I'd have to go back to look because I know it's a hundred and for the high priority pieces that need to be fixed at the pump stations, it's $160,000. I believe there's also some money for medium priority things that need to be done at the pump stations for a little bit less than that. I believe the total amount being asked for next year for CIP for the wastewater is $274,000. And, and lastly, and that's all ratepayers? That's, that's all sewer users only. And, and but nothing's going to happen to their rates right now. We just took care of that, and that's going to cover all that? All correct. Uh, yes, correct. The rates are a steady increase till we get to around $13 an hour. I mean, hour, hour per, per is that cubic going to feet. be covered by the rate increase? Yeah, go ahead. What, it, what we do is annually put aside X amount of money, and I'm not, I don't know off the top of my head what it is, but at the end of the point in time, when we have enough to do the project, that's when we withdraw it to do it. The fund was built up to 600,000. They're withdrawing 530,000. There'll be 70 remaining. That fund will remain, and then we'll continue to build it up till it gets to the 100,000 that Sean just said for the next project. We will withdraw those funds and continue to do so. There's gonna be no impact on the rate um, no increase in the rates because we try to keep that contribution level much like we do for the building maintenance reserve fund um, the police cruiser reserve funds all of those the same it happens with the um, water and sewer funds except I think you just said they're going to need over 200 but that's that's okay didn't you just say you, you had about 200,000 you were asking for this year uh, I believe the total was 270,000 but uh, just to that's clarify that portion when you go to the CIP committee you come up with a list of you may have millions of dollars of projects, but you're only asking for smaller amounts for contributions. So you're not going to see it. Say, um, say he needed to do a wastewater plant. He's not going to. He's going to come to the, the capital improvement uh, committee and say, "Look, I need a wastewater plant for 14 million." But budgetary wise, he's not going to say, "I need 14 million in one year." It's going to be spread so we won't out. We don't need that 270 dollars. No, no, we'll be saving that money 
until we get to that point. For, for example, we have um, some work we need to do on the pump stations from a, from a report. We've been putting away $160,000 a year to do that work on the pump station for three years. Once that three years is up, up is up, I'll be coming to actually do the project because we have saved that money. It's more for a uh, town administrator. Yep. I feel like these questions wouldn't be asked if whenever we're asking for money out of a capital reserve fund, we had the capital improvement plan that that was against in our packet. Sure. I feel like I've asked for that before. And, uh, the, and I'll make sure staff does that. As you. You're right, you have asked for that and staff should have that provided. It's just because yep. everything's planned out. Absolutely. Right? So it's in the plan. Yep. Okay. Um, seeing no other questions, please call the roll. Councilor Burns. Aye. Councilor Bowden. Aye. Councilor Pike. Aye. Councilor Thompson. Aye. Councilor Weinstein. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7-0. Um, we're going to um, hold off on resolution 16-17-4 till the next meeting, which is the uh, Schottmeyer Park uh, uh, gift. Do it. Do we have to vote to table that? No, it's, you can hold it over for a third read and there's no vote needed. So the uh, next resolution is 1617-5 related to the paving improvements for 2016-17 on page 69. Have a motion to accept. So moved. moved. Any Second. questions? Mm -hmm. Speak now. Councilor Thompson. Uh, my question is, um, there was a note in here that we can, or maybe Steve will want to talk about it, that the price is what it is because the paving contract is for inch and a quarter overlay that the public works director feels would look a little bit better as opposed to the one inch um, that is, for lack of a better term, customary. Um, yeah, maybe maybe the, maybe Rick could address or address that, or you could say it more succinctly than I can. I'm not sure why we're spending that much more for another quarter of an inch, and address the durability, if you would. The the reason why I brought that up in my report under the comments in the staff report was the study that the University of New Hampshire T-Square program did and we put in the, the we presented to the council was that they recommended an inch uh, top coat for Grant Road whereas the um, contractors re recommended an inch and a quarter. From talking to the Public Works Director it would uh, smooth out some of the bumps if you, if you had an inch and I'll, I'll let him speak to that however I did want to let the council know but that by reducing it to one inch, it would reduce the cost by $19,000. It just, they wanted to make sure you knew that the plan said one inch, but they recommend an inch and a quarter, and that's the difference. And I guess my question is for looks, I don't think that $19,000 for, for looks for a quarter of an inch, how much a quarter of an inch makes a difference, but it's really addressing the lifespan. To me, it would be a lifespan and durability question, I guess. It's, it's gonna be a little more durable, and it's not just for aesthetics per se, that road has a few areas here and there where there's some rutting, and to do the one inch overlay consistently and come out within your budget will be difficult to do. We're gonna have to skimp it down here and there, go a little thinner. You don't really wanna do that. You really want the one inch minimum, and with this little bit of rutting, it'll allow us to maintain the one inch and have a good product at the end where there is a little rutting where it's going to take a little extra mix here and there. It's not consistent throughout, but it's a mile and a half. So you're going to put, let's just say it's 100000 for the road. I didn't do the number. But it's 19000 and it's not just aesthetics. It's better quality and more consistent. The one inch is crucial to maintain. And you're going to have some areas where it's going to take just a little bit more here and there because of the condition of the road. Um, that's the, the biggest purpose for that. Can I ask one other, one other question to kind of follow up? I get that we want it smoother. It's better on everybody's cars. It's better for handling. I mean, that section of grant is, is not good. Um, 
but I guess my, my devil's advocate on the other side is if we, if we take all the bumps out and make it smooth, have there been, has anybody looked at what happens to people's speed, like when we do ash swamp, when it's smooth? They're, they're going to go faster. It's the nature of the beast. Um, but uh, they, they will go faster. It's okay. just what happens. I don't mind a few bumps personally now and again because it reminds me that I'm, you know, flying over them. But, okay. Thank you, that, that helps. I don't want to interrupt or interject, but I have to say New Road is like Beirut, and they go flying. Just, you know, and I, I get the, but it's so oh, bad. Oh, yeah, and it's worse. And I they know, fly. Go, they fly by my house constantly. Anyway, uh, Councillor Bowden and then Pike, please. I was going to say that commuting daily down Ash Swamp you know, a few different times, but taking the kids to, to school, our cars get beat up pretty good. You get tired of spilling coffee too. Uh, so if the quarter of an inch helps to, I guess, improve the roads, I think it's worth it, mm -hmm. personally. And Ashwamp is, is always, has always been a road that gets beat up really bad, especially going down towards the golf course so um, the question in regards to only having one bid one company the continental it's no bell bid. and Flynn right but there was Pike and Barasa didn't get back to me at all yeah. continental at least sent me the email and said listen yeah. we can't bid your work but I couldn't get like a documentation from those other two to show that I contacted them. But, but Bellinflet does. You that I called them several times. I, 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 I'm not questioning that. Um, but Bellinflet is reputable and they've done a good job with they other. Have, and, and just, just to put out there, I, I think it's as far back as 2000 or 2001, but they've been bidding with other contractors and always been awarded the contract. They've always been the cheapest okay. um, in the past. All right. Thanks, Rick. Councillor Pike. Yeah, just just to follow up on the the plan called for a quarter in, uh, one inch, and this was one inch and a quarter, because of special situations on the road being paved. So, in in general, will it will we will it be inch and a quarter on other sections? Do you think the other sections of the new market roads will be one inch? You, you know, it was because of a special rutting situation. It, there, it was it was the condition of the road. So when you when you reclaim the road and pave it, you can go with your two inches. You know you're going to do two inches throughout. You know what your tons are going to be. When you have a little rutting here and there, it's hard to measure that and get a good mathematical. So right. when I say it's a thousand tons and give you a number, it's it's difficult with rutting, slight rutting, to do that. And then I'd be like nineteen thousand cheap, or I skimp have them cut the scrape down and now I'm instead of con continuing with an inch in some places there's an inch some places there's three quarters because I'm trying to watch the budget yeah, yeah it's you know I might not spend the full 19 I'm just trying to gauge it over a mile and a half in in I'm kind of covering my butt a little bit you know <laughs> what I mean uh, well I'm fine with that I, I'm just wondering and I think that answers the question that you know the one inch on other sections of road where we're in a similar situation and we may have to have the same contingency and on some sections of grant where it's better it'll be the one inch there's going to be a few sections when you come up the hill towards uh, the, the farm there what I forget what we call it now the Wigan farm I guess that's pretty bad. They're going to have to go with an inch and a quarter up through there. Okay. And then there's a couple other sections. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got it. Thanks. That's, that's what I was trying to get at. But I didn't want to just, it's just not for cosmetics. It's. We got it. Yeah. Just along the line of no other people bid, I just was curious is the 340000 and Bell and Flynn is considered the best around here, or certainly right up there with Pike, I guess. But is that price consistent or less than last year with the prices down so much? In it's a reduction in the price. So the price down. went down. And if you That's compared not. that to, you know, uh, the, the drop in, in uh, fuel and whatnot, is that a, does that make sense to you? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, it, it does. And it also, the report that we UNH did took into consideration oil prices <coughs> as of today by using the formula state DOT um, comes up with. It was almost right on target. Okay, as long so as as estimate. long as it was some reduction, I was just curious because I know fuel went down. That's a big chunk yeah. of the, the dough. Um, 
please call the roll. Councilor Burns. Aye. Councilor Bowden. Aye. Councilor Pike. Aye. Councilor Thompson. Aye. Councilor Weinstein. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Uh, Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Rose. <coughs> Resolution 15 16 52 is still laid on the table, but we're getting closer. <laughs> and uh, we only have a couple of other things. Um, um, uh, I need a motion for an appointment on page 77 for the Chief of Police, Kyle D. True. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. second. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, honorable members of the town council, pursuant to section 4.8 of the New Market Town Charter, I hereby appoint Kyle D. True as Chief of Police. Kyle is a law enforcement veteran with over 24 years of experience and currently serving as interim chief of police of the New, Par New Market Police Department. He served New Market since the 1997, rising through the ranks from patrol officer to master detective to lieutenant. During the time as master detective, he served on the New Hampshire Attorney General's Drug Task Force, working nearly six years undercover mm. on drug cases throughout the state and the country. During this time, he received numerous awards from the United States Organized Crime Task Force and was named New Market Police Officer of the Year in 2004. Kyle was promoted to Lieutenant in 2005, overseeing the Support Services Division. There, he was responsible for all criminal and special investigation prosecutions, youth services, and special programs. True, Kyle began his career in 1991 in Center Harbor. It is my honor to appoint and ask the Town Council for the confirmation of this appointment and the approval of the employment agreement. So we already moved, mm -hmm. correct? Uh, congr uh, just for me, congratulations, Kyle. Formalize uh, anything? I'm sure I'm Thank speaking for the council. Vote. It's nice to have Absolutely. you. Uh, glad we have that kind of talent in the town. Give <laughs> 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 a vote. Give a vote. Please call the roll. <laughs> Councilor Burns. Aye. Councilor Bowden. Aye. Councilor Pike. Aye. Councilor Thompson. Aye. Councilor Weinstein. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Congratulations, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Would, you like to, Kyle, would you like to speech, say speech. anything up here? It's up to you. Up here. You, you guys, that's the other thing I'll be telling you. You got to speak up here. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, I look forward to, to working with all of you. Um, there's going to be a learning curve, and I've been uh, I've been ahead of the game right now, working with uh, Matt Angel, Diane Hardy, and Steve. I'm asking a lot of questions, um, but I'm confident that I'll do a good job for you. And we're going to deliver fantastic police services to the community like we have uh, under Chief Sear. Uh, he has left me with extremely big shoes to fill. <laughs> and I'm, I'm confident that uh, with the staff we have now that we can uh, deliver great services to you. So I look forward to, to working with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I think we have to do the same. Next one. On page 78, uh, <laughs> do I have a motion to uh, appoint um, Judith Ryan for a three-year term for the CIP committee? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Um, Judy's here. Judy, do you want to say anything, Judy, at, at all? Um, I, Judith Ryan, 125 Main Street. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. Um, I want to thank you for considering this, um, I view the CIP as a tool that's passed on to, uh, with uh, clearly with, with consultation with the departments, to pass on to the town administrator and then to the council for the future planning of, this, you know, the outcomes of the of new market and its long-term capital improvements. Um, they are very important. Uh, I do not expect that everything we give to you is going to be approved. Um, but it, it is a global picture of where we are today. Um, we do visit every department. Um, we will be meeting on Monday to visit with the departments and make their presentation on the requests and uh, move forward to pass it on. So thank you. Thank you for your service, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Um, seeing no lights, please call the roll. Councilor Burns. Aye. Councilor Bowden. Aye. Councilor Pike. Aye. Councilor Thompson. Aye. Councilor Weinstein. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. And um, I don't think anyone, I didn't, did anyone get correspondence to the council? No. Um, any closing comments by councilors? Councilor Weinstein. Uh, I just wanted to mention that um, Councilor Bowden and I attended a training on Saturday. And um, it was through the New Hampshire Municipal Association. And so there are a couple of things that I wanted to pass along. 
um, and I have the this information. Uh, maybe I could pass it on to Steve. There's a gubernatorial candidates forum on October 7th. Uh, it's a Friday from 10 to noon, and um, everyone's invited, and both candidates will be there. And it's a chance to talk about issues um, that are important to municipal government. So, so there's that, and then there's some other information with you know, links um, to a legislative bulletin and um, a, a regular newsletter. So I'm gonna, I'll pass that on to the rest of the council. Oh. Anyone else? Yeah, real quick. Uh, met with the New Market Business Association this past week and went over the traffic calming, trying to also try to calm the small business owners as well. <laughs> uh, they're being impacted by the road work that's construction being done so anybody who's watching or anybody who's here and you know, don't be afraid to go by to eat downtown thank you and seeing no other comments can I have a motion to adjourn no, no public. oh uh, hey uh, speaking of that uh, before we do that do we need to seal the minutes yes, from the last non-public yes okay do I have a motion to seal the minutes of the last non-public meeting so moved um, do you want to second that, September 14th no <coughs> and seeing no lights second. please call the rolls Councilor Burns aye Councilor Bowden aye Councilor Pike aye Councilor Thompson aye Councilor Weinstein aye Councilor Nazaro aye Councilor Levy aye Motion Steve just for the record could you make sure um, for the minutes we get the uh, the RSA it was 91 you know the correct RSA 92 yep just to make sure and can I have a motion to go into non-public it's RSA 91A, semicolon second. 3, number 2, uh, regarding personnel. Second. Do you need a second for that? So, in this our own pike. Um, see no lights. Please call. Councilor Burns. Aye. Councilor Bowden. Aye. Councilor Pike. Aye. Councilor Thompson. Aye. Councilor Weinstein. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. And we are adjourned.